The new Kashitari archetype is here and ready to put it together, and we have some playtesting to show you just how interesting this deck actually is. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on, well, more awesome content. So we actually had some playtesting and ready to put together a base version of the Kashi Raw deck. I will have the list up tomorrow for you guys that want to see it with another match um, from a friend of ours. So there'll be a little bit of misplaying in here as we're kind of getting used to a few things here. But I will correct you and tell you where some of those misplays actually end up being. I am playing Runic and... Yeah, they are playing the Kashi Ra or Kash Kashitari. So they opened up D Shifter. I love having to play around this card, man. Now I understand why everybody wants this card gone. So I'm going to get D Shifted. Yeah, feels real good. We're going to go ahead and we're going to special summon La Unicorn here. This stupid thing lets him search for any like basic piece here. Just add a Kashi, uh, Kashitari uh, spell card from your deck to your hand. <laughs> Let's grab Papias. Papias lets him target a Kashitari he controls. Then you can special summon a Kashitari from his, or with a different attribute, in defense position. But you're going to see him special summon it in attack mode here. It's not going to matter. He's going to go ahead and trigger this. By the way, this stupid thing does not negate. All right? Like, I repeat, this does not negate. So we go ahead and we special, we go ahead and do that. And then since we specialed the Fenrir, the Fenrir also gets to add um, Rise Heart. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the Shangri-La here. So we're going to go ahead and special summon Rise Heart here. Now, Rise Heart, if you control like, uh, the Kashitari, you can special summon this card from her hand, and then you cannot special summon from your check for the rest of this turn except for Exceed Monsters. Okay. During your main phase, if this card was normal or special, then banish one Kashitari from your deck, and then banish the top three cards of your opponent's deck face down. And if you do, this becomes a level three. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to banish the trap card. I'm going to banish three. Big bang here. When this stupid thing is banished, if this card is banished, you can target a Kashitari exceed monster you control. Add one Kashitari monster attached to it as material to your hand. All right, so... We're going to go ahead and get our free body here. Now, what you just saw there was we get to make the Arise Heart. You can also exceed summon Arise Heart here once per turn. During a turn, the effects of a Shangri-La was applied. All right. So each time an opponent's card of cards is banished, you can choose one unused mo main monster zone or spell and trap card zone. It cannot be used while this card is face up. And this card is stripped by battle card effect. Detach one material from it instead. Well, first of all, we're blanking this monster zone. Second of all, Arise Heart here, since we triggered the effect of our Shangri-La here, this stupid thing gets to beam itself out as a one material on top of Rise Heart. All right, that's so amazing. All right, and then uh, it's a uh, walking, talking macrocosma here. Cards into the graveyard are banished instead. So, you know, me being the runic player here has to deal with the BS that is a walking macrocosmo. My zone's starting to get sniped off, and then I have to deal with La Fenrir here. Uh, when this card declares an attack, or if your opponent activates a monster effect, target one face card your opponent controls and banish a face down. Like, I don't know what I'm really supposed to do about that. Like, I, I do have the good card here, which actually might end up being enough. We're going to go ahead and we're going to Mystic of the Mine our opponent. All right, yeah, we still have to deal with the walking, talking macrocosmo. That is the continuous effect of this, which is fine. But come to find out, this Mystic Mine is enough to slow down the pace of the game. I know, right? All of that just to get mined. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to push into game two there. I know, so anticlimactic for no real reason. We were we were joking during playtesting. He's like, man, you're just gonna mind me, and I'm gonna cry. I was like, yeah. Post side decking though, all of the the fun comes in here. So I get forced to go first. I boarded in like golems and things like that to go first and second. And my opponent opened yield D shifter again, but he actually holds it here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attempt to special here, and then we get shifted on the activation of our freezing curses. Um, somewhere deep in the world, I screech. Um, which is big sad. Uh, so we just go ahead and we summon Moonin because there's not really much else I can do. We go ahead and set the Flashing Fire and the Freezing Curses. So we have Lawberth. This card is nuts. During your main phase, special summon one non-exceed Kashi or Kashitari that is banished or in your graveyard. God. So I'm going to go ahead and Terraforming. We're going to grab our 
Prime Planet Parios here, which on activation is just going to grab a Kashatari from the deck. Must be so nice. It's like everything that we learned about here, we just went ahead and shoved back into this deck and made this deck even more insanity. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a La Unicorn here. I'll go ahead and beam out La Unicorn. We're going to pop it off so that this stupid thing can't actually do its thing. Luckily for me, we're going to go ahead and get a Banish 2 here. He's going to go ahead and revive it because he had Law Birth. At this point, I'm just like, man. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to Law Unicorn negate. All right, can't have that doing its thing here. Now, keep in mind that this card does, in fact, include a beautiful effect that says, if a Kashitari Shangri-La you control activates its effect and target one card in the field and destroy it. I'm go ahead and Sacred Sword on up. Go ahead and Special. We're going to grab the Arise Heart here. We're going to go ahead and make our friend. I'm going to go ahead and make this. Special to our friend. We're going to go ahead and get Blanked here. Now, he's going to go ahead and he's going to pop my field spell here off of the field spell effect. I, you could have argued that I could have moon and protected the field spell, which, I mean, at this point in time, I'm already playing under shifter. Like, there's there's only so much I can do. Now I've got to deal with the walking macrocosmo and ching -Roa sniping off my back row. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> we actually go ahead and pass. We drew into skill drain, which was big sad. There's not really much I can do there, man. Like, if I'd gone first and actually saw, you know, skill drain, something else, I might have had a chance. But game three is is pretty saucy here, honestly. Like, I think this is where I had some of the most fun. This is the 3D chess game. All right, so these stupid appointers, by the way. Uh, I actually forced him to go first, which you can argue, you're like, well, Robbie, you boarded in, you're, you're playing skill drains, but you opted for your opponent to go first. Yeah, Lava Golem's a good card. <laughs> Logically, like, I, I'm fine with that. So he actually kind of bricks. He has to kind of start things off really weird here with Rise Heart. You go ahead and banish. Go ahead and set that up. Go ahead and draw. Also, yes, that did become a three. But he did get to Lava Earth. Lava Earth's a good card grab back. Hey, look, it's Papayas. Papayas into our friend. Go ahead and trigger and grab the Kashitari. Go ahead and special extend. And we're just going to end on the walking, talking macrocosmo. Okay. I mean, it's something, right? And then we got the appointer here. So we're going to go draw phase. We're going to pop off Mr. Arise Heart here because I don't really want to deal with this. All right. You can argue that uh, he should have probably detached the three to banish this card face down. I, I guess would have been one argument here, but I don't think it's really gonna matter all that much. This 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 is irrelevant for now. All right, so we're still in draw phase. I, I love the fact that we're just gonna slowly tutor through the phases here. We're gonna get a pointer. He actually has to rip the skill drain out of my hand, so disclaimer, I'm gonna forget about this for a turn, and then we're just gonna add it back to my hand, but it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and throw down the extra app now that we finally got to main phase one here. Go ahead and draw some good cards. We, we drew Mystic Mine. Special. Grab our field spell, set, set, and pass. Our opponent drew Cosmic off the top. Very nice. Very nice. Indeed. All right, we lose our field spell. We're going to go ahead and freeze and curses off our friend, get a banish, and we're going to go ahead and mine pass. Uh, this is actually kind of relevant here because this, this will kind of limit him a wee little bit in some of the plays that he can do, or at least force him into bad situations. We're going to go ahead and negate this. And then we'll trigger for the Banish 3, which is actually, negating this was really important. Uh, he still will get the chance to revive something here, but just a Sacred Sword it away. He drew in a pointer. Yikes. As you can see, I forgot my skill drain. Um, we, will, uh, we will relevantly get that back here. So technically, this turn, I would have the skill drain in my hand. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and re-banish that skill drain again. We pop off that. Because uh, this stupid card getting revives every single turn is nuts. Like, God, I can't believe this. Like, also, he gets the Banish 3 while he controls a Kashitari. Oh, my God. So good. Three spells getting Banished. Oh, look, it's a Rise Heart. Yeah, because this is great. <laughs> Papias also states that if this card is... Excuse me. <clears> hmm. <throat> Uh, blah blah blah. If this card is banished, you can target one of your banished Kashatari Law cards, except for Papayas, and add it to your hand. So good. It actually top decks the field spell here, too. I, I'm like, I, I start seeing that this game is starting to slip away here, but with the way his hand is, I actually have a decent chance here, surprisingly. Go ahead and Papayas grab Law Ogre. Swing on over, that's fine. 
All right, it goes back to the extra deck. We take 1,500, and that's fine. We drew Lava Golem. We're going to hand, hand this Lava Golem to our opponent because they're at 3K life. All right, go ahead and draw a pass. We're going to take 3K. Oof. Tribute into the Shifter. We're going to set the good card. They're going to flip up Mr. Dimension Shifter here to swing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and actually chum block that. We're going to gain a 1,000. So this is called the comeback of the year here with dear old Moonin. All right. We're just going to gain some life. We're sitting on Skill Drain Judgment and the uh, Slumber here, which is really good. Draws a trap card for turn. We grab, or we drew our field spell, which I'm just all giggity that we just saw this. This is amazing. Like, we're going to go ahead and manually activate Law Prepare, but uh, we're going to judgment that off the face of the planet. All right, we're going to go ahead and trigger for the three so I can draw some cards here. All right, and we drew into the tip. Oh, boy. All right. Grab Destruction. I'm going to go ahead and set that and pass turn. We're going to gain some more life points back here. Our opponent has seven cards left in deck. All right. I'm going to go ahead and Special Summon into the Ogre, or Tribute Summon into the Ogre after they summon the Kashadari. We're going to pop this field spell here so we can trigger a Banish 4. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and Regenerate. All right. Draw our three. We're going to Smiting Storm on End Phase. And then on into our friend. Shuffle back. Draw three. And then tip for the final banish. Holy moly. What a grind game. This deck is really no joke, though. Like, this is this is some very, very interesting stuff. So, what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.